Hey, it's Madison, and you're on rockforevermagazine.com. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and today I am here with Madison from Million Dollar Listing. What's up? How are you? Good. I am very good. I mean, Malibu, it's beautiful here. The weather is great, so I can't complain, right? right? So I was going to say, welcome to Malibu. Yes, yes, it's very awesome here. <laughs> and so, I mean, usually when I interview a television star, they're playing a character, and I'll be like, hey, so how are you similar to your character? But it's very different in your case because you're playing yourself on a reality show. So is the Madison we see on TV the real you? Madison, you see on TV, is basically the real me. I think I am a little bit more conservative on camera than I am in my real life just because I'm running a business and my image is my brand. So I'm probably uh, held back a little bit more than I would be in my normal day-to-day -day life. So if I were to go march to your best friend's house, they would probably agree with that? They would probably agree with that, yes. But for the most part, I, I mean, I myself on TV, I'm pretty mm -hmm. authentic to that. Or I, I would say I've grown into myself over the last couple of years on the mm -hmm. four seasons. Yes. Um, so it's, it's like everything, le a learning and, and growing. And in life, and especially in your business as a real estate agent, you have a lot of different situations that go on. <laughs> so how do the producers choose what exactly goes into the show? Um, well, we kind of talk about, I mean, each episode has to have its own little mini arc. Yes. And then the whole season has to have an arc from the first to the last episode. So as far as what's going on in my life and what we end up, uh, what I invite them to come to film and what they, ended up what they end up using is generally things that fall into what make my character um, be, be consistent for the entire arc. Yes. Um, so it, it's just, it's a, it's a collaboration and, and they don't get full rights to everything in my life. So I get to invite them to the right things and we try and make it exciting. Yes, I definitely am <laughs> always excited to see the next episode. It's amazing. The it's whole fun. show. It is fun. So is there ever a thing that goes on? They're just like, oh man, I wish I was in the show. And then it doesn't end up getting, yeah. yes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we film so much. They have so much footage and a lot of it doesn't end up airing. Um, I, I mean, I went to Vegas on camera for three days, and we did this whole thing, and not one minute aired on TV. Aww. And we had a good time. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. and I, I, they kind of have kept my character more or less um, a little bit more conservative also, but I think I'm starting to, to push that envelope. Yes, and do you think there's a part of you that we don't see on TV that you would like your fans to know about you? Uh, let's see, is there a part of me that my fans don't see? No, I'm I'm pretty outspoken. I'm pretty honest. Uh, my my face, my facial expressions <laughs> usually explain it all, um, and I, I'm pretty happy with the way it's been cut and, and the way it's been received. Yeah. Yeah, and on every TV show and every movie, I think you know most characters have their certain roles. You know, the good guy, bad guy right. thing. So, how would you describe your relationship and the roles of you and the two Joshes on the show? Well, I think <laughs> that's a setup, isn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> um, well, I think Josh Altman and I are very competitive, and um, obviously there's a whole other drama going on with, yes. with a female. Um, so it, it, it heats things up, and it definitely creates good television, and it's all real. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the truth. Um, and the, the other Josh, he's just so in his own element that you just love him or you hate him, and, and I personally think he's great. So we, we definitely all have very different personalities and di very different roles. Yes, very different. I mean, both Joshes are very competitive salespeople, and then you, on the other hand, you know, mixing pleasure and business, as right. you're known. So how do you think, since you have such a different philosophy, you're still able to be just as successful as them? Um, I, you know, I think I live, life is too short. And, and I think I, I recognize that I don't live, I, I don't live to work. I'm working to live and I like what I do. And, and so it's a lot of fun and my clients are a lot of fun. And I live in Malibu, it's very relaxed yeah. um, as far as, you know, the day-to-day -day life. But when it gets into the business part of it, and that's one part that you may not get to see as much on TV because it's a little bit more boring. <laughs> <laughs> but the negotiating and the technical parts of the contract, um, those are my specialties, and, I, and I'm very, very educated when it comes to the market and to the contracts and to negotiating in and out of situations. So, you know, I think I think we all have our different roles, and and 
it's it's fun no matter what it is. Yes, that's for sure. I know not only are you having fun, but we are all enjoying the show <laughs> very much. And you did graduate from Pepperdine University mm-hmm. and then go straight into real estate. So what made you want to do that? I wanted to, you know, start a career and figure out I didn't want a boss. I don't want to have to commute. I don't want to leave Malibu. <laughs> Those were my three things. And um, and I had a, a hand of cards basically that was dealt and, and real estate became um, the best played hand for me. Um, I knew the right people and kind of just got connected in the community before I ever knew I wanted to get into real estate by going mm-hmm. to Pepperdine. Yeah. And now, yeah, well, what advice do you have for other young people who want to be just as successful, maybe a future Madison in yeah. Malibu? Uh, get my book, <laughs> read it, because yeah. <laughs> it'll help you activate your passion, create your career. Yeah. Um, no, just follow what you want to do and know that it requires work. It doesn't come easy. I mean, it looks pretty, maybe it looks, maybe it doesn't look easy on TV. I'm not sure because it's a whole season yeah. smashed into, you know, one episode here and there of, of a lot of money is what it looks like. But there's a lot of behind the scenes. Yeah. So. Just like anything else, you have to put your time in and and have fun with it. Well, I know the real estate business is very interesting. And I mean, on that note, trying to inspire young people, we should probably mention the craziness that goes on, too. You had one client named Ishmir, I believe, who uh, (laughs) tried not to remember it, but he did want the car as well as the house. What is the craziest thing that has happened to you in (laughs) your years? Well... I don't know what the age range of who's watching this, but I just had an incident the other day. I got a listing appointment on Friday, so this is fresh. I mean, there's something crazy every week, first Mm -hmm. of all. (laughs) But um, on Friday, I went to this house. It was a celebrity's listing. He wasn't supposed to be there. He ended up being there, the assistant. We were all like, okay, that's fine. Great guy, super nice. Got the tour of the house, and she's like, oh, and we have this technology on the wall. It's a computer screen. You can control the house. You can watch Mm -hmm. TV. And she went to go turn on the TV, and it is a full-on porno scene happening. <laughs> she was so embarrassed. She's like, oh, my God, she couldn't get the buttons off. And I'm, like, laughing so hard. So, I mean, it's little things like that. And and then it's, you know, I've negotiated alpaca, which are, like, llama, yes. uh, with one property. The woman wanted the house and the alpaca. Oh, wow. Um, so it's, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. I mean, I walked into, I was showing one house. I walked into one uh, bathroom. They had the door closed, and she's like, "Oh, we don't go in there." I'm like, "Okay, well, my buyer would like to see it. Do you mind?" She goes, "No." Open the door, and there it's. They had a water leak for probably two years, oh. and there were mushrooms growing out of the carpet. Uh, it was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Well, then, on that note, if you want to be a real estate agent, yeah, Welcome. these are the stories. <laughs> this is for you. And so what else is coming up? You know, you're going to be on the next season, perhaps, because you have been on the show since it started. Right. Yes. So. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Season five. Um, we'll see what, what to expect this season. And, you know, I figured I, at first I was straight and I went polyamorous. Mm-hmm. Then I was gay. And I think this year I'll be a drag queen. Yes, Dead go for it. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm very excited to see all the new episodes, for yeah. sure. Got my series recording ready to go. Good. And yes, so about your new book, was it challenging writing a book? I mean, it was a new, yes. new adventure for you. Yeah, I think the most challenging part is kind of finding the time. Yeah. You know, because I work a full day, and then I had to set aside a little time every day to, to write mm-hmm. and try and put together the stories and the concept and... It was it was definitely a project, but I, I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, and I know if I were writing a book, I would probably have writer's block like every five minutes. Yeah. Did that happen to you at all? <laughs> it does. Yeah. And the, the worst part, I mean, it's a fun process, but I think the part that I got most annoyed with was going back after oh, yeah. over and over and over again, reading it and trying to piece it together so it <laughs> flows, and then reworking it. And it's yeah. just like if I read this one more time... <laughs> you know your book very well now i'm sure that's true i haven't looked at it since oh well (laughs) understandable if i read it like my own book a hundred times i'd be like okay what no this is yes (laughs) do you think you'd write another book yes uh i have a treatment out right now with a a co-authoring a book and um as soon as they find time maybe we'll execute it (laughs) yes i'm looking forward to it already and now you definitely are the example of a perfect triple threat you know real estate agent actor and now author as we know so what is coming up for you in the next five years where do you see yourself um well i in the next five years will be continuing to to grow my business and my brand i don't know if i'll always be doing real estate um the, the TV show has taken and opened new doors and, and provided other opportunities that I find pretty exciting in the entertainment world. 
and I like to change it up. I like I like the challenges, or I like multiple like to wear multiple hats. Yeah. So I'll just continue to grow and learn and see what happens. But right now, the entertainment world is definitely fun. Real estate's rewarding. Till I get bored, we'll see. <laughs> And I can't wait five years from now, and I know you'll be just as successful or more. Yeah, Yeah, more for sure. Yes. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a house in Malibu, Madison is your guy. And make sure you tune in to Million Dollar Listing. It's one of my favorite shows, and I know you'll enjoy it too. We'll see you next time. Bye.